Hello, YouTube. Sir Dragon X here. Are the financial solvency requirements for residency here in Mexico going up in 2024? We're going to discuss that in the video coming up next. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we have an important update regarding the future financial solvency requirements for Mexican residency in 2024, so let's dive in. It's official. The Mexican government just announced a significant rise in the minimum wage from 207.40 pesos to 248.93 pesos per day. This marks a substantial 20% increase from last year. This decision followed various proposals, including a 12.8% increase suggested by business owners and a 22 to 25% increase proposed by trade unions. Ultimately, the government office for minimum wage recommended a 20% increase, which was ultimately accepted. Now, you might be wondering, what does a minimum wage have to do with the residency requirements? Well, the financial solvency criteria for residency are closely tied to the minimum wage through a specific formula. This means in 2024, the financial requirements for residency will increase by at least 20%. Some consulates adjust their requirements for 2024 in December. So if you have an appointment in December of 2023, it's crucial to verify if there have been any changes in the requirements before your appointment. The McAllen, Texas consulate already sent out notice to its December appointments that the requirements have changed. To give us an idea of how these rates are calculated, let's go over the base formula. For temporary residency, the minimum monthly income requirement is 300 times the minimum daily wage here in Mexico, each reflected in your bank statements over the last six months. Under the current formula, the monthly income requirement for temporary residency ranges from $3,100 to $3,600, depending on the exchange rate decided by the consulate. With the 20% increase, these amounts will rise to approximately $3,700 to $4,400. For savings, the requirement will jump from approximately $54,000 in savings to approximately $71,000 in savings if you want to go the savings route. To qualify for permanent residency, the situation is even higher. The income requirement is 500 times the daily minimum wage here in Mexico, and applicants must be of retirement age or provide proof of retirement. This year, the monthly income amounts for permanent residency varied from $4,000 to $5,500 per month. With the upcoming increase, we're looking at a range of between $4,800 to $6,600, and the savings proof could rise to between $201,000 to $261,000. It's essential to understand that these are just estimates and actual requirements can vary widely. While we hope that the Mexican consulates start to align with the Mexican immigration's UMA formula, which is lower, the current reality is different. I know it doesn't make sense that the Mexican immigration financial solvency requirements are lower, but you must pass through the higher financial solvency requirements at the consulates to even get to the immigration process. But that's where it stands to date, and we can only hope that the two entities eventually align. I also want to debunk a myth and a rumor started by several YouTubers here in Mexico. Simply showing you're retired and have a pension doesn't automatically qualify you for permanent residency. The law requires proof of livable income, and the interpretation of this is up to the Mexican government through their consulates as set forth in Mexican law. It's not set by the opinion of a YouTuber, Mexican attorney, or the actual cost of living here in Mexico. It is what it is, and a livable income requirement is what the consulate calls financial solvency requirements, which I have just gone over, and each consulate's requirements are set in stone, so to speak. 
As always, here at Retired Life in Mexico, no bull, we're committed to providing you with accurate, unbiased information free from the influence of financial gain or ego. Keep an eye out for updates and we'll keep you informed as details emerge. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. It really does help me to make more content to help you. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.